Okay, everyone, I got a haul as I always do, and I got a bunch to show you. This is probably over the last couple weeks over uh, just hunting in, in my areas and, you know, maybe some eBay purchases. So as I do, I quick to the point, and we'll just share uh, what I've been picking up and what I've been paying and what I've been finding. Um, so actually, I was surprised to see this one in a back issue bin. Um, it was $3, and I was like, I will take that one. Next wave, number one. This is like the first appearance of Elsa Bloodstone with red hair. It's, it's, it's one of those crazy things. It's like a $50 book right now. You know, give or take or whatever. But uh, it's just uh, it's interesting how certain things can catch on after a little while. So this was probably one of my better finds uh, in the back issues that went in, on the hunt and seeing what you could find. Um, with uh, We got Hawkeye coming. Um, we got... Uh, Echo showing up in the Hawkeye. We got Echo showing up in her own series. I found another one of these, $3. Uh, pretty much when I go to the stores, I check uh, the Daredevils uh, in the 51, 55. That's on my list of things to check on a regular basis. And the store I hadn't been to in a little while is a little farther away. I uh, happened to have one just sitting there. So I, I grabbed it for, for $3. Um, also with Hawkeye coming up, we got Hawkeye blind spot number one. I've shown this one a million times, but whenever I see it for cover, this was cover as well. Uh, I'll just buy it. I think there's another one in this pile. I think I found two of them in my hunting on this particular hunt kind. Um, but Storm number 11, great Stephanie Hans cover. I thought I was done finding these, but I was happy to find another one for $3. Uh, the Incredible Hercules 133, Origin of Amadeus Chow, uh, $3, can't go wrong. Uh, cover, so this was $4, Gamora number one. That kind of caught on for a little bit, being that it's Gamora's first self-titled series. Eh, okay, fine, whatever. This was $3, Nova number 36. Uh, it's the last issue in this particular volume. Um, and it's a cool cover, so... Uh, I've seen that for three bucks. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Um, let's continue to go. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm doing this. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do these next. Um, let's see here. This one still has a tick sticker on it, but whatever. I found this one when I was out of town. Six dollars. GI Joe two two seven. Can't go wrong. Uh, it's a cool cover. Um, you know. Okay, cool. Uh, first appearance of Starling, $8. Found that one when I was out of town. Okay, cool. Um, that's pretty much about it for my out of town searches. Um, Teen Titans, uh, number number two, uh, annual number two, first appearance of Vigilante. Vigilante is supposedly going to be in the um, Peacemaker show. Can't go wrong. It was $5. Um, I just rebagged the board. It used an old board, so ignore that. Sticker on the bottom. Um, found a storm. I know this is the other storm I found. Cover price can't go wrong. Um, same thing with this one. This one I used another bag and board that had the sticker on it from a previous purchase. Got to recycle them these days. But Star Wars number twenty-three. This kind of goes for something. It's probably some sort of Star Wars first appearances. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, I'll get it. Um, <laughs> This one, it figures, right? So I find out, okay, Guardians of the Galaxy number 12. I look all over, you know, all my, my store close by. None of them have it. It's the first appearance of Phyla Bell as Martyr, or, you know, she's on the cover. Great cover. I really like it. I thought it was cool. Um, so I wanted it. And I go on eBay and I spend $15. Taxes shipped to me, everything. Okay, fine. And then, of course, I find it with the store that's a little farther out of my way. I find it for $4. So... Whatever, I found it. Um, this one, I don't know if this is the $4 one or the $20 one, but uh, it's, uh, it's uh, or the $15 one. But that's what I got for that. So I got another Guardians of the Galaxy showing up. Um, I was surprised to see this one for $5. I'll buy this for $5 every time. Future Imperfect number one. You know, first appearance of, um, I think, Hulk as Mestro or something like that. Um, Avengers number one. I believe this is the one from 2010, and this is the one that has the cameo appearance of Black Panther's son. Okay, cool. 
Um, that was five dollars. Rogue number one, uh, first uh, solo rogue uh, titled. Um, can't go wrong for three dollars. It's it kind of caught on. Actually, the store had a couple more, but I it was kind of too binged up on the side. I didn't want to spend three dollars for it. This one looked good. I'm pretty sure I have some somewhere. But uh, just in case I didn't for that price, at least now I, now I got a Rogue number one. And speaking of self-titled stuff, I've, they also got another Gamora number one for cover. So that's what's going on with those. Um, I think those were pretty much, yeah, no, there's still some more. Okay. Okay, we'll just start sharing here. So in my hunt, I found this one uh, for cover price. It was like, uh, you know, Three or four dollars. I think it was three dollars. Three dollars. Um, and at another store, I saw it for twelve, and I was gonna buy it. I had it on my pile to take, but yet then you look at it; it just had some spine dings. And to spend twelve dollars for this one, I mean, it's a bunch of first appearances. Immortal Iron Fist number eight. I just, it just, I just couldn't do it for twelve dollars in that condition. If it was in better condition, I would have done it. But it all worked out. I was able to find number eight with all the first appearances of Mortal Iron Fist. I've been looking for it for $3. I'll buy that every time. Uh, this was also $3. Ghost Rider number 26. First, uh, it's got some first appearance in it. Um, you know, the Ghost Rider, uh, you know, kind of catching on these days. Um, Secret Invasion number eight. This was $6. Um, I don't know, just a variant. Uh, it's, it's. I'm trying to think. I think it's the first appearance of the opposite, the, like the villain team of the Illuminati. I think they're called like Cobal or something like that. Obviously, I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it was it was cheap enough. Secret Invasion number eight. Okay, I'll get it. Um, super happy to finally find this one i had probably been looking at this one probably for a year <laughs> at obviously at an affordable price so this is the terminator number one this is the first terminator comic book so um it was three dollars uh, i was happy to find it i've been looking for it got it adding it to the collection definitely something super happy about and this was also three dollars first appearance of john connor in comics so eh. Okay, cool. It's Terminator. I've been looking for them at the right price. Got them. Speaking of $3 books, Captain Britain, number five. You got Blade on the cover, which is kind of cool. But And you also have, in the story, you have Black Knight and Blade. They haven't interacted in the story. But in this one, it is believed at this time <laughs> that this is the first meeting uh, Captain Britain and MI-13, number six, the first meeting of Black Knight, Dean Whitman, and Blade. So, you know, it could turn into a thing with the end credit scene and, um, oh my gosh, Eternals, maybe. Um, okay, $3. At least at least I'm uh, trying to stay ahead of the game here and, and doing stuff, so I got that. Uh, this was this hasn't been on my list or anything. It just kind of looked cool to me. It was three dollars. Jason X. It's a one shot. Um, I don't know a lot of the horror. Uh, Freddy, Jason, those type of, has a good following. I'm not super into it, but when I see a good deal about on that stuff, I kind of go for it. I mean, it's probably a ten dollar book on a good day, so it's not like it's it's a steal or a stealth buy or anything like that. But s certain things sometimes you just see that you like J Jason X. The one shot, why not? Um, I posted this next book on Instagram, my Instagram account, Silver Surfer Black number five. So I I was at Walmart and I came across they had actually it was funny, like the I was there like last the week before or something, you know, buying groceries and doing stuff, and I, I go over and they had zero Marvel books uh, there. And then I went like a week later and I saw three of them, three of the packages. And I was kind of debating, you know, everyone gets so lucky. They find all these rare variants. Uh, it's never, it's never going to happen to me. And, you know, two of them obviously were crap. <laughs> um, there was nothing, nothing, <laughs> not even like a halfway decent one. Um, but this one uh, obviously is a really good one. Um, I think the ratio uh, pre-Walmart was like one and 
500. I again, I don't know. That seems like really high to me. But so it's definitely a, a, a hard ratio Silver Surfer Black number five to get. Um, I've seen them go probably between two and three hundred dollars on auction on eBay recently, um, probably in the last month or two months. So to 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 get a home run while you're you know, you know playing playing like gambling really much to see what you get, it was nice to to win. And uh, so that kind of made me happy. It's kind of a fun story of, of getting lucky in the Walmart pack. So that's what happened with that one. I'm, I'm super, super happy I got that one. Um, now we're here to some eBay purchases. So Boba Fett number one, uh, second print. Uh, Star Wars Age of the Rebellion, Boba Fett number one, uh, second print variant. Um, there's nothing really special about it in the story. Um, I think a lot of people, I like the cover art. A lot of people like the uh, print run on this one. So it has potential to become maybe something someday uh, more than it is. Right now, I want to say I spent, with everything shipped to me, it was like $28 and change, which is about the going rate on the low end. I mean, you might be, maybe you'll get $40 on a, like if you're trying to sell it on a good day but uh, that's about what it goes for right now um i've been eyeing this book for ever and um i was like okay you know i've 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 done well with my inventory and 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 you know flipping so i can buy more and i was like this is something i really want so i'm just gonna do it so that's kind of uh why i did it it's something I wanted and I look at it and it makes me happy and um, it's what, why it's fun to to be able to find deals and then be able to flip stuff and do stuff. Actually, I got more story on that as well. And this is another one too. I want to say this was also just under $30 shipped to me. Um, Ultron Forever, uh, the, the new Avengers uh, variant, uh, you put... There's six of them, and you got, like, Scarlet Witch, you got uh, Black Widow, you got Captain America, you got Hawkeye, you got Thor. And I found all the other ones really cheap. Like, I think the most I spent was, like, $12. Everything else was 12 and under for, for all, all the other five. And I just could never find this one. And, um, you know, I, I finally, you know, most people, when I see them, they're wanting, you know, 40 Forty dollars on the low end to buy this, so I found a, a little bit cheaper than by waiting a little bit longer. But I really wanted it, so now I have the Ultron Forever um, variants. Uh, I should put them together and take a picture of it and put put it on the Instagram on the gram. I think that would be cool. Uh, it'd be a cool posting. So be on the lookout for that. But anyways, um, Ultron Forever uh, uh, finally completed that run. Um, here is actually here's the other. I mean, it's not worth anything, but I just didn't have it. The other Walmart book I found was was this one, um, Thor number six. I think it's the second printing. Um, even though it doesn't say it on here, I don't know. It's kind of gotten some some heat a little bit. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Thor number six. I just saw it. That's the only kind of halfway decent book. Here is the other Guardians of the Galaxy number twelve. This was either the four dollar one or the fifteen dollar one. You know, you know. So it's one of those things. Um, Finally found me one of these. People were talking about how it's like, like this, like an early Venom cover, like full body um, appearance. So uh, Marvel Universe update eighty nine number eight, um, pretty much a cover buy because you got Venom there, and uh, it's from eighty nine. So uh, there well, there weren't tons of Venom covers out there at that time. You see his whole body. It's it's pretty cool. So. Um, and it's very affordable. It was like six dollars. So it, it's kind of funny. I was going through. I've been going through the Marvel universes, and it's been on my list. And I've never seen this. I haven't been able to find this one. And I was going through this particular store, and they had they, had, they just put a bunch out. It was four dollars, four dollars, four dollars, four dollars. And then this one came up, and they had it for six dollars. So I'm like, ah, close enough to four. I'm gonna get it. So um, I'm happy I found that one. Um, Avengers Solo, uh, it's just a, a variant, it's the Chris Evans, um, Captain America on the cover, it's $10, I couldn't say no, that's, that's a cool cover, I mean, if it was a Scarlett Johansson one, we're talking about $200, but, uh, since it's Chris Evans, it's only like $10, 
but still it's a, it's a good price so i got it um <laughs> it is kind of fun when you when you finally when you when i've been going to the earth 2 section i've been looking for this this is a variant it's the first appearance of fury uh it's like wonder woman and dark side's daughter or, or something crazy like that from earth 2 and um it was eight dollars so it was definitely very affordable definitely something i wanted um happy to finally find it and add it to the collection i thought that was a good addition uh this was a three dollar one red tornado number two it's the first appearance of the female red tornado so um i mean no one cares but when you're when you're hunting you kind of keep things in mind and you're trying to see what you could find. And this one's been on my list for a long time, actually. But, uh, you know, no one's in a hurry to put it out or, or, or do anything with it. So I finally found it for $3 and uh, I got it. Okay, let's talk about this one. So I was doing research or reading, you know, I think it was, you know, the CBSI stuff. And um, they were talking about this book. I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll have to keep an eye on it. And the reason why they were talking about it was it's, I think it's, a, it's Die, 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 number 14. I don't think the print run was very big on it. And there's also, um, I guess, everything is all debatable on what what's what's the first appearance and what's not. But there is a, a Grogu uh, um, panel with Grogu in it. So it's cool Obama cover, but here, I'll show it to you. So I'm like, I saw it for cover. I don't know what's cover, three or $4. Cover is, yeah, three ninety nine. So it's definitely $4. So I was like, whatever. I don't, I was, it'd be cool to try and to see where, where is Grogu? So I guess there's this big, you know, there's this big, uh, you know, Obama's boxing somebody and it's kind of like, where's Waldo? And like, do you guys see Grogu? He's right over here somewhere. He's right there. So there, is, that's definitely him. <laughs> you can tell he's in, the, he's in the crowd watching it with like everybody else. So that's where I found him. So that's kind of like a cool little, um, I don't know, a little something different that you can kind of see and, and uh, you know, as a Star Wars fan. I don't know if people would consider this as like his first comic book appearance. <laughs> he's so in the background and he's so uh, not uh, uh, not really, uh, what am I looking for? Not really a character in it or anything like that. But it's not like they're making comics with Grogu right now. So I don't know. I just thought that was cool. So And honestly, I've been kind of looking for more and I haven't found any. So I think they're, they're harder to find. I don't know if it's popular or... or or it's not really popular or not that many people know about it, but I just thought that was cool. Um, anyways, back to what I got, Avengers 350. This is when Black Knight and Cersei start up their relationship. Okay, it was $3, I'll get it. Uh, this was cover prize, this $4. Um, G.I. Joe 281, first appearance of Sherlock, which is that character there. And so it's a new G.I. Joe character for, you know, cover price. I was in a buying mood. I decided, okay, fine, I'll get it. Um, here is something else I got. So this is Comic Reader, 126. Technically, I guess it's it's the third time Moon Knight was in print. So the first and second appearances were in the comic books, and then they printed this here on the cover. It's a great cover. Um, I've never seen it out in the wild. Yes, I bought it on eBay. So... Remember when I was telling you about um, how I had all these letter 44s and I've been, I sold a bunch of them and, you know, I had like, like I walked away with all my fees and everything like that, like with $400. So I've been keeping track of buying stuff that I wouldn't have. Like see my other videos, I've kind of said, hey, this is a letter 44 one. It's not something I would have bought unless I, I had this. So this was $100 on eBay which is the going rate. It's, it's, you know, you didn't overpay, but you didn't definitely didn't underpay. <laughs> um, but, uh, it's something I never, I would not spend a hundred dollars on this normally, but with being able to move a bunch of letter 44s, 
um, that I had, I was like, okay, I got to get stuff I want and that I never would buy. So this meets that criteria. It's just a comic reader. I like those fanzine kind of things. Um, it's, it's one I've always wanted. I just never wanted to spend money on it. And I, I had a, a, a an excuse or, or a reason to do it. So that's, that's why I got it. But, uh, Comic Reader 126, Great Moon Knight, um, fanzine kind of cover. Uh, this was $5, Warlock and the Infinity Watch, uh, number 42. It is the last issue in the run. Um, it's funny, they, the store that this particular store had uh, 39, 40, 41, and 42 for $15 as, as a set. Or I could just get number 42 for five dollars. So I was I was tempted to get the set of the last four issues in the run because I you know I'm a last issue collector too. Um, I like looking for that sort of thing. But I was like, nah, I'm gonna be cheap and just get the one I really want. So I was happy to find that. This was like three dollars. Red Robin number one second print. Okay, first appearance. Red Robin second print is kind of a thing. Why not? This was $5. I, it was on my list recently. I just I just wanted the last issue. Like, again, I'm in the last issue uh, mindset. I like last issues for the collection. Um, Nightwing number 153, last issue. Get it. Um, so I was at this other store. I usually don't go to that often just because they don't really restock that often. But it had been a while since I'd been there. So that was good. Um, and I came across this one. So you know, it's, it's in, it's in the, you know, you're, you're like flipping, you know, you're flipping and you see the top half of this and you're like, oh, okay. Well, of course I have it already, but I've been looking for the DC universe. So you take it and then you're like, okay, $8. Okay. Let me see. And then you're like, if this DC universe one I'm getting, and you pick it up, you're like, oh, yes, it is. It goes in the pile. So I was able to get this for $8, which I think is a good deal, mainly because it's the DC universe variant. I've never seen that in the wild. Uh, whenever I go to Green Lantern's and I see this one, I always check for that. And this is the first time I've ever seen it. So I had to get it. Uh, this was also $8. This was more or less just because I had, I've got two, three, and four in dollar bins. And um, I, I need number one to complete the run. It was just by itself. I'm like, man, I need to get number one. And it was $8. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll get it. Um, I've kind of been working on trying to buy the gargoyles one through six from this, one through 12 from this series cheap. Um, I think I'm missing now two, three, and five. So I'll still be looking for it. If I see it cheaper, I'll get it. This was a dollar. So I was like, okay, that, that'll work. Um, but, uh, you know, it's not, it's not going to be easy. I've been working on this for years, <laughs> that for years to buy at that price. So <laughs> um, I think all of them cost me a dollar except for number one, which cost me like five. But to get the two, two, three, and five for that is going to be challenging. Um, we see this for $3, you get it. Just Wolverine, uh, number 17, great cover. Yeah, it's pretty popular right now with Wolverine. See this for $3, you get it. It's, um, you know, Warlock, Silver Surfer. I mean, it's, there's not really a, a huge uh, demand for it, or it doesn't really go for a lot. You just it's, it's one of those ones you don't see at the store, but it doesn't go for a lot. Um, it looks like you got Gamora, you got Pip the Troll, you, there's Silver Surfer, you got Warlock, you got Drax. Great cover, you can't go wrong. See this for cover. Uh, you know, I think it was three fifty actually, so it was fifty cents over. Uh, Hawkeye, number six, the third print. You get it. Any of the later printings on the Matt Fraction run, you get. Um, say uh, when I see this one for for three dollars or less, I usually get it. Um, especially if it's a newsstand, Fantastic Four five eleven, first of parents of the one above all. I think is what he goes by. And the very last one I'm showing, Star Wars Rogue One Number Two, the variant. So uh, that was cover. Um, anyways, that's what I've been up to the last couple of weeks when hitting the stores. Been very productive. Um, I appreciate you guys watching as always, and I like sharing. Thanks.